Hello students, welcome to the lecture on system and tools for world class operation and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Discuss the production system and process design, explain the process layout and material handling cost, discuss the process layout in Nokia, understanding the lean manufacturing, discuss the statistical quality control SQC, explain the flexible manufacturing system FMS, discuss the rapid Prototyping, define the just-in-time JIT, discuss the total productive maintenance TPM. Let's start with the introduction. Global competition has caused fundamental changes in the competitive environment of manufacturing industries. Firms must develop strategic objectives which upon achievement result in a competitive advantage in the marketplace. However, for almost all manufacturing industries, an increased productivity and better overall efficiency of the production line are the most important goals. Most industries would like to find a formula for the ultimate productivity improvement strategy. Innovation is a necessary process for the continuous changes in order to contribute to economic growth in the manufacturing industry especially to compete in the global market, in addition to innovation as a mode for continued growth and change, there are many other vehicles for growth in the manufacturing industry. Let us now discuss the production system. Production can be explained as an act of either manufacturing or mining or growing of goods, commodities, generally in bulk for trade. Production is a method employed for making or providing essential goods and services for consumers. It is a process that puts intangible inputs like ideas, creativity, research, knowledge, wisdom, etc. in use or action. It is a way that transforms convert tangible inputs like raw materials, semi-finished goods and unassembled goods into finished goods or commodities. The three components of a production system are inputs include raw materials, machines, man hours, components or parts, drawing, instructions and other works. Conversion process includes operation, actual production process. Operations may be either manual or mechanical or chemical. Operation convert inputs into output. Output includes finished products, finished goods, parts and services. Types of production system. There are three common types of basic production system. Batch system, continuous system and project system. In the batch system, general purpose equipment and methods are used to produce small quantities of output, goods or services with specification that vary greatly from one batch to the next. A given quantity of a product is moved as a batch through one or more steps and the total volume emerges simultaneously at the end of the production cycle. In the continuous system, items to be processed flow through a series of steps or operations that are common to most other products being processed. Since large volumes of throughout are expected, specially designed equipment and methods are often used so that lower production costs can be achieved. Frequently, the tasks handled by workers are divided into relatively small segments that can be quickly mastered and efficiently performed. The third type of production system is a project or one-shot system. For a single, one-of-a-kind product, for example, a building, a ship, or the prototype of a product such as an airplane or a large computer resources are brought together only once. Now moving on to the next topic, we will study the process design. Several studies have pointed out that a large percentage of defects in building arise through decision or action in design stages. Also, it is widely known that poor design has a very strong impact on the level of efficiency during the production stage. Nature of the design process One consists of an individual decision-making process, usually performed by a designer, concerned with the creation of alternative solution. The second one is a management process, divided into phases which develop from the general and abstract to the detailed and concrete. Design as a creative process Designers are traditionally known by the solution which they produce rather than the kind of problem they deal with. In design, the problem is usually poorly defined, that is the clients sometimes are not able to make their needs explicit. Design as a management process. In the building industry, design is traditionally regarded as a single stage in building project. This is due to the fact that the participation of the design team tends to start relatively late in the project and finish as soon as the production stage starts. 
based on the view of design as a flow proposes a number of principles and methods for eliminating waste in the design process. Reduce uncertainty, which is one of the main causes of rework, especially in the early stages of design. Reduce waiting time by decomposing adequately the design tasks so that they can be properly planned and also allow the transfer of information to be made in smaller batches. Design process stages and principle. These process steps are certainly applicable and necessarily for large complex commercial or industrial design projects. Managing design and creative projects requires a clear methodology. For complex tasks, the project manager must be vigilant and detailed. Let's now study process layout and material handling costs. The process layout is otherwise called as functional layout or job shop layout. Process layout engages assembling mutually in one base leading the operational kind. Process layout is handiness for inception and supervision. Industrial engineering. Process layout is a ground plan of the plan which is fit by industrial engineers to get better the competence, organizing tools consistent with their purpose. Facts of process layout. The process layout is a sub layout outstanding for short to average manufacture amount. It is exceptional for middle to lofty production dissimilarity. Plan layout and material handling solution process can be divided into following categories. Initial survey and data analysis survey is done through site visits to do an initial evaluation of the project, customer interaction and interviews to gather requirements, layout modeling and MHE evaluation, auto CAD models to incorporate storage media combination, material flow option, the difference between product layout and process layout. Factory layout refers to how a business designs its factory setting so as to make the best use of its resources. Product layout. The product layout approach involves setting up the production facilities around the steps involved in manufacturing the product. The product goes from one step to another as it is manufactured. Process layout. In a process layout, management groups together machines that perform similar functions. A process layout group's workstation together according to the activities being performed, regardless of which products each workstation is working on. Advantages Process layouts are designed to increase economies of sale, allowing individual processes to function more efficiently by pooling resources. Because of this, process layout can be ideal for businesses that produce large volumes of product each day. Disadvantages, process layouts can be less effective when dealing with individual custom orders as custom information has to be sent along the production line along with the semi-finished materials. Layout refers to the configuration of departments, work centers and equipments with a particular emphasis on movements of work, customers or materials through the system. In Nokia, manufacturing industry process layout is being used. Reason for using process layout in Nokia In process layout, work is divided into different processes. This layout is efficient and as it has ability to change product designs easily in the same way. Nokia belongs to mobile industry where changes in attributes and functions of mobile keep changing either due to change of technology or taste of people. As depicted in process mapping, there are following processes being covered. Design a concept. Cell phone companies employ a team of designers to create a concept for their latest phone release. Add and define features during the design phase. Features normally seen on a cell phone include the ability to make voice calls and send text messages. However, consumers can offer additional features such as a built-in camera, video, MP3 player, internet, GPS, instant messaging, games, radio, push talk, Playback, recording, and anything we can think of that can fit into a small handheld device. Identify parts to use, including the battery, hard case, keypad, volume control, Bluetooth enabler, and wired headset socket, as well as the parts that make a camera and MP3 player. Benefits of using process layout flexibility. The firm has the ability to handle a variety of processing requirements. Cost. Sometimes the general purpose equipment utilized may be less costly to purchase and less costly and easier to maintain than specialized equipment. 
Henry Ford was one of the first people to develop the ideas behind lean manufacturing. He used the idea of continuous flow on the assembly line for his model T automobile where he kept production standards extremely tight so each stage of the process fitted together with each other stage perfectly. In lean manufacturing, there are four categories of ways that we should monitor. Overproduction are producing more than consumer demand. Waiting, how much lag time is there between production steps. Inventory, work in progress. Are our supply levels and work in progress inventories too high? Transportation, do move materials efficiently. Hello, Mr. Consultant. I've heard a lot about lean manufacturing, but what is it really all about? Well, let me explain. Lean manufacturing is a system for providing the customer a defect-free product or service when they need it and in the quantity that they need. It is a system that focuses on eliminating waste and creating value for the customer. So, what will that accomplish for us? I thought if we implemented lean manufacturing, we could cut the bunch of heads. No. Not exactly. Becoming lean does mean increased cash flow, increased long-term profitability, and even increased revenue. How do we get these benefits? Well, lean manufacturing improves cash flow by freeing up inventory and shortening lead times. It reduces cost in the long term by improving productivity and quality. It also increases revenue by providing a better quality service or product faster and with fewer errors. It really sounds too good to be true. What is the catch? Well, the most important success factor is strong, committed leadership. Oh, I get it. So, I demand perfect quality and no mistakes from my employees. And I insist that they do things my way. That eliminates waste and improves things, right? Nope. You. As a manager, lead by setting an example and creating an environment in which people are empowered to identify and eliminate problems and waste. That's what continuous improvement is all about. I'm not sure I like continuous improvement. I thought lean manufacturing simply meant that I could lay off a bunch of workers and get a bigger bonus. Nope. That's not lean thinking. That is short-sighted traditional thinking. Okay. Lean manufacturing process. The lean manufacturing process has three key stages. Stage 1. Identify waste. According to the lean manufacturing philosophy, waste always exists and no matter how good our process is right now, it can always be better. Stage 2. Analyze the waste and find the root cause. For each waste, we identify in the first stage, figure out what is causing it by using root cause analysis. Step 3. Solve the root cause and repeat the cycle. Using an appropriate problem-solving process, decide what we must do to fix the issue to create more efficiency. Tools to reduce waste. Once we have identified waste using the three key stages above, we can then apply this next set of tools to help us reduce a waste further. Just the time. This is the core idea of lean manufacturing and is based on the pull model. Kanban, this is one of the key ways to involve people in the lean manufacturing process. Let's say your business is doing well and you're thinking of expanding. That's great, but it's also the riskiest time for your business. In fact, many businesses don't survive the transition. Should you throw money at the problem by investing in new equipment or hiring more people? Should you make your staff work more overtime? Your answers to questions like these can make or break your business. And that's where Lean comes in. Lean is a philosophy about delivering value from your customer's perspective, eliminating waste, and continuously improving your processes. Lean can radically change the way you do business. Lean management is based on four principles. The first principle is pull. Rather than producing as much as possible, Customer demand pulls goods or services through the manufacturing process. This minimizes overproduction, inventory, and ultimately working capital. The second is one-piece flow. Focusing on one single piece at a time minimizes work in progress, process interruptions, lead and waiting time, while increasing quality and flexibility. The third is tact. 
It's the heartbeat of a lean system. It's how fast you need to manufacture a product to meet customer demand. TACT allows us to balance work content, achieve a continuous flow, and respond flexibly to changes in the marketplace. And the fourth is zero defects. Mistakes happen, but a lean company doesn't pass on defects. Mistakes from previous steps must be fixed before going on. Combined with a robust, continuous improvement process, the four principles of lean management will help your company stay ahead of the competition in a constantly changing marketplace. Let us now study about Statistical Quality Control, SQC. SQC is a term used to describe the set of statistical tools used by quality professionals. SQC is used to analyze the quality problems and solve them. Statistic. Statistic means the good amount of data to obtain reliable result. Quality. Quality is a relative term and is generally explained with reference to the end use of the product. Methodology and tools of statistical quality control. The major tools used for statistical process control are histogram, Pareto chart, cause and effect diagram, defect concentration diagram. Moving on further, let us now talk about flexible manufacturing system. A flexible manufacturing system, FMS, is a reprogrammable manufacturing system capable of producing a variety of products automatically. Classification of FMS related problems, strategic analysis and economic justification which provides long range strategic business plans. Facility design in which strategic business plans are integrated into a specific facility design to accomplish long term managerial objectives. The types of FMS are sequential FMS, random FMS, dedicated FMS and engineered FMS. The application of FMS are metal cutting machining, metal forming, assembly, joining, wielding, arc or spot gluing. Let's now talk about the advantage of using FMS. To reduce the setup and queue times, improve efficiency, reduce time for product completion, utilize human workers better. Disadvantage of using FMS. Limited ability to adapt to changes in product or product mix, X, Machines are of limited capacity and the tooling necessary for products, even of the same family, is not always feasible in a given FMS. Sustainable pre-planning activity. FMS problems. Part-time selection. Selecting parts that will be produced in the FMS over some relatively long planning horizon. Part selection. From the set of parts that have current production requirements and have been selected for processing in the FMS, select a subset for immediate and simultaneous processing.
Rapid Prototyping RP, can be defined as a group of techniques used to quickly fabricate a scale model of a part or assembly using three-dimensional computer-aided design CAD data. What is commonly considered to be the first RP technique, stereolithography, was developed by 3D system of Valencia CA USA. The company was founded in 1986 and since then a number of different RP techniques have become available. The reasons of rapid prototyping are to increase effective communication, to decrease development time, to decrease costly mistake, to minimize sustaining engineering changes. The trends in manufacturing industry continue to emphasize the following. Increase a number of variants of products, increasing product complexity, decreasing product lifetime before obsolescence, decreasing delivery time. The 5S and Kaizen for process improvement. Business process improvement BPI is an area where IT departments can contribute by helping organization reduce costs, shorten cycle times and improve process efficiency. Just in time, JIT is defined in the APICS dictionary as a philosophy of manufacturing based on plan elimination of all ways and on continuous improvement of productivity. It also has been described as an approach with the objective of producing the right part in the right place at the right time, in other words, just in time. Some key elements of JIT stabilize and level the MPS with uniform plan loading, Haizunka in Japanese. Create a uniform load on all work centers through constant daily production. Establish freeze windows to prevent changes in the production plan for some period of time and mixed model assembly. Produce roughly the same mix of products each day using a repeating sequence if several products are produced on the same line. Reduce or eliminate a setup times. Aim for single digit setup times less than 10 minutes or one touch setup. His can be done through better planning process, redesign and product redesign. Let us now talk about total productive maintenance. Total productive maintenance TPM is a systematic approach to understanding the equipment's function, the equipment's relationship to product quality and the likely cause and frequency of failure of the critical equipment components. Benefits of total productive maintenance TPM are productivity improvement. Productivity is improved through fewer losses in the company. Quality improvement. Quality is improved as a result that the failures and malfunction is reduced. The show is quite boring. You said it. Let's talk instead. Sounds good. I wanted to ask you what you thought about a concept I recently discovered. What's that? Well, my boss has asked me to implement total productive maintenance. Oh, yes. I know a lot about TPM. Do you want me to tell you about it? Sure. Well, TPM is a concept that creates a team-based system for improving equipment effectiveness by eliminating what's called the Big Six machinery-related wastes. Oh, that sounds great. That's just what I need. My department is having all kinds of trouble with breakdowns. Oh, well breakdowns is one of the six wastes. Along with setup and adjustment, speed loss, minor stoppages, start up loss, and defects. How does TPM work? Well, operators, maintenance people, engineers, and even equipment suppliers can be involved. They work together to improve overall equipment effectiveness, a key metric. OEE? Right. They do this by measuring OEE and then identifying opportunities to eliminate waste. They also work on making equipment easier to maintain. Operators are trained in visually checking equipment and identifying potential problems. In some organizations, they are trained to actually perform preventative maintenance. That's great. This operator empowerment is called autonomous maintenance, and there are seven key steps to implementing it. Interesting. What else can you tell me about TPM? Well, I could tell you that OEE has three key components, availability, performance, and quality. Measuring OEE is probably a good starting point for you. How did you learn about this? 
I learned it from my friends at EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com I took their Lean Certification Program. EMS Consulting Group www.emsstrategies.com Right. They have lots of resources on their website. You should check it out. I intend to. Are you going to leave right now? Yeah. Let's go. This show stinks. Maybe, we can go get some coffee and talk some more where it might be a little more quiet. That sounds great. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Production is a method employed for making or providing essential goods and services for consumers. Manufacturing subsystem that includes all function required to design, produce, distribute and service a manufactured product. The design process needs to be planned and controlled more effectively in order to minimize the effects of complexity and uncertainty. Statistical quality control refers to the use of statistical methods in the monitoring and maintaining of the quality of products and services. Rapid prototyping has also been referred to as solid free form manufacturing, computer automated manufacturing and layered manufacturing.